Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to talk about the phasor diagram for the uh, purely capacitive circuit that is AC voltage applied to a capacitor. Actually, we have discussed about this case of AC voltage applied to a capacitor in the previous video. It is actually the phasor diagram for that. So, I will provide the link in the description box. You can watch that. While we have discussed about the AC voltage applied to a capacitor, actually we got the expressions for, I mean we have taken the voltage as V equal to Vm sin omega t and we got the expression for the instantaneous value of current as I equal to Im into sin of omega t plus phi by 2. So I hope you remember this. Okay. In this case, you can see that here we have omega t, here we have omega t plus pi by 2. So, definitely there is a phase difference between the applied voltage and the instantaneous value of current. Here it is plus pi by 2, plus pi by 2 means the current leaves the voltage by pi by 2. Okay, that is voltage lags behind the current. In other words, we can say that voltage lags behind the current or we can say that current leaves the voltage by pi by 2. So, let us discuss about the phasor diagram for this purely capacitive circuit. This is actually the phasor diagram uh, for the purely capacitive circuit at an instant of time T1. That is, you can see that this vector V actually is the voltage phasor. Voltage is actually a scalar quantity. But uh, while we are talking about phasors, uh, that is actually considered as a rotating vector. That is why we are putting one vector sign here. That doesn't mean that voltage is a vector quantity. Okay. So, here we have the voltage phasor. Uh, at a particular time uh, T1 here corresponding to that uh, there is an angle omega T1. Now the current phasor it will be pi by 2 ahead of the voltage. So you can see that uh, there is a phase difference of pi by 2 here. So current is current phasor is pi by 2 ahead of the voltage phasor. That is phasors are rotating vectors they are supposed to rotate in a uh, in an anti-clockwise direction or counter-clockwise direction. So, current has reached here already at a particular time T1, but uh, voltage is here. I mean, voltage phasor is here. So, current leaves the voltage by pi by 2. Okay, that is why the current phasor is drawn here and the voltage phasor is drawn here. Because as per this, current phasor leads the voltage by pi by 2. Okay, now you see the length of the phasor actually gives us the amplitude of uh, that particular quantity. So, we have uh, Im as what? Im is actually equal to Vm divided by Xc, you know. So, it will be less than Vm. That is current value will be less than the voltage value while we are uh, taking this expression. That is why the phasor for current uh, is drawn uh, like this. That is, it has a length which is less than the voltage phasor. It is because of that. Because its amplitude will be less than the voltage amplitude. Okay. Then, uh, uh, then what else? Uh, then you see here we have marked the vertical components of this current phasor and the voltage phasor uh, at a particular time T1. Okay, that is uh, to get the graph of V and I uh, versus omega T. That is to get such a graph. We want to take the vertical components of these two phasors, current phasor and the voltage phasor at each and every time. So, at this particular time, omega T1, if I am taking the vertical components of this phasor, that is, this can be resolved into 2. So, this vertical component can be taken here too. No problem. We will get the same value. So, this vertical component will be what? Sin omega T1. Okay, I am writing here. Sin omega T1 equal to opposite side. That means the vertical component. So, okay. So, vertical component divided by hypotenuse. Hypotenuse means this uh, this length of the voltage phasor actually gives us the magnitude or the amplitude of the voltage. So, Vm. Vm is the amplitude of the voltage. So, vertical component is what? Vm into sin omega T1. That is written here. So, at this particular time T1, uh, that is at this particular angle omega T1, the vertical component of this phasor is Vm sin omega T1 and corresponding to that time T1 and corresponding to that uh, angle omega T1, we will get a point here. To get the, to reproduce the sinusoidal signal, we have to take that vertical component and we, are, we will get a point here. Okay, similarly at the same time, while we are taking the vertical component of this current, we will get a point somewhere here. 
Okay, similarly, uh, these two phases are rotating phases, so they are rotating in the anti-clockwise direction. So, after some time, the voltage phaser may reach here, current phaser may reach here, then voltage phaser will reach here, current phaser will reach here. Okay, so at each and every time, that is, time goes on, so, so this T value changes. Then, omega T1, this angle also changes now, because they are rotating, as they are rotating, the angle also changes so, we will get different, different vertical components and corresponding to that, we will get so many points here. Okay, then we just want to join all those points. So, we will get one such graph uh, of uh, V and I uh, versus omega T. Okay, uh, we have actually already discussed about phasers and phaser diagram in the previous videos. Please watch that. I will provide the link in the description box. So, here you see... The current reaches its maximum value earlier than the voltage. This green one represents the voltage and this red one represents the current signal. So, you can see that current reached its maximum here at a particular time, whatever will be that time. Okay, current reached its maximum. But you see voltage reached its maximum only after some time. Okay, and here too you can see that current reached its maximum but voltage reached its maximum after some time. That means current reaches its maximum, okay, current reaches its maximum value earlier than the voltage. That is why one fourth of a period because pi by 2, no, so one fourth of a period. That is current reaches its maximum value first and voltage reaches its maximum value later. That is why we got such a graph of V and I versus omega T. So, in this video, we have discussed about phasor diagram for the AC voltage applied to a capacitor. I hope you understood this. Anyway, I recommend you to watch uh, the video of phasors and phasor diagram and how to reproduce a sinusoidal uh, wave from the phasor diagram. Uh, that video, I will provide the link for that video in the description box. So, you will get a, uh, you will get a better idea about this. I hope so. Uh, and uh, I hope uh, you understood this. Thank you.